So in the last four parts, we have launched the web server. We have created a basic application. We have learned how to deal with migrations and store data in the database. Also, we learned how to add records using the shell system. And finally, how to render an HTML template using Django template language. What we will take a look at now is how to add or edit data inside our database, but not through typing commands in shell. I don't want to do that each time uh, I want to add a trip, for example, or if I want to update the price, it would not be so time effective if every time I will have to open the shell, import the model, make the changes, then save them. But instead, I would like to go to a part of my website where I can click add a new trip from this to that location or update the existing trips. So Django is designed in a way that it allows the interaction of different data types and input very easy using a built-in app called admin, which makes it very easy to add and modify data. So go ahead and open your Europe application inside admin.py. And the first thing that I want to do is I want to import from the current directory from models.py. I want to import the trip class. And you see that uh, Django has added a comment here saying register your models. So we will do that. So let's register our trip model. And the syntax will be admin.site.register. And I will pass the name of the class, which is trip. So the admin app is a built in app in Django, as we said, and makes it very easy to update existing models. And what I'm doing here is that I'm registering the trip model with my admin site. And this allows the admin to manipulate the trips. And in order to access the admin site, uh, you're going to need to log into the admin site itself. So uh, we will need to set up a login and a password for you. Okay, so let me maximize the terminal. And uh, let's shut the Explorer, CD World Tour. And this will go like this, python manage.py create super user. Okay, so we need a username, we'll say back, email address, Okay, password. Okay, now the super user created successfully. And we will take a look to the admin site now. So let me start the server. So this is what we have built the last time, only one trip or one record in the database. And what I will do now is in the URL here, forward slash, followed by admin. And take a look at that. So let's log in uh, back as username and your password. Okay, so we have here a welcoming message, welcome back. You can view site, change password or log out. And I didn't create that. Django has created this admin tool for me. It's a built-in web application created to help you to manipulate input. So you see the name of the application Europe. We have trips. So if you will click on that, you will have action. You can only delete uh, the selected trips. So we have only one trip. Okay, Rome, Paris. We can modify that actually. We can delete it, okay. We can actually add trip. So let's add a trip. We will say from Prague to Madrid. Nights, uh, we will say five nights, and this will cost 400 euros, for instance. And we'll save that. Okay, perfect. The trip number two with the ID two, Prague to Madrid for five nights cost 400 euros. It was added successfully. So now this has been added to the database. I didn't have to type in the shell to uh, type commands. What I did is I typed the name of the origin, the destination, the number of nights and the coast. Save and that's it. So if we'll take a look to the site now, we have a second record that has been added to our database. And we can add or we can change. So take a look to change, we can change that. If I want to change the price, if I want to change the number of nights um, or the destination, or even if I want to delete it. So if we'll delete that, okay. Are you sure you want to delete the trip to Prague to Madrid? 
Okay, yes, I'm sure. It was deleted successfully. And I wanted to show you something very quickly inside here in the URLs, uh, in the URLs actually in uh, the world tour, the project itself. If you see here in the URL patterns, you will find a path and this one, I didn't create it, but it was created or generated by Django. And this is the admin side.urls. Okay, so this is admin slash, which you have to type uh, in the URL after the port 8000 in order to be able to enter the admin website. So this comes out of the box uh, with all Django apps. And all what I needed to do uh, is to just register the models with the admin site on the admin.py file. So this will be the end of the Django course for beginners. And next time we'll create a weather app where we will use what we have learned so far. I hope you like this course. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.